that. Look at that. Haha. -ha. First flounder of the day right there. Alright, I was definitely losing hope that we were gonna get anything. But first flounder right here, first bite I've had. Looks like a keeper too. It's gotta be 18 inches. So let's see about 18 inches. He's awfully close to the water though. Maybe we can do better than that. Let's try to get him up here. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna keep. That one. Oh yeah, 18 and a half. He's over 18. First keeper of 2016. Just over 18. First keeper. All right, all right. And we're gonna keep that. So this is a very tasty fish. Good fish right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him. And uh, this is what he hit. A five inch twister tail. Well, gulp twister tail. So I will take it. That's a good good little fish. Now, it's crazy out here right now. The tide is still ripping. Getting foggier. Wind is still blowing. It's not too windy, but like that you can't fish, but it's windy enough that it's tough. It's, uh, it's tough conditions out here. These things are aggressive. And I was honestly literally casted parallel to the side bank there. I mean, he was probably up along the sides looking for a meal. I was losing faith that we would see any flounder today. But I just kind of zoned out, just kept casting and casting and casting. And then, of course, the, the crazy cast, the one parallel to shore, is the one that got the fish. Yeah, this water is deep. You can kind of see the edge of this side bank right here where it goes from uh, like shallowish water and it drops basically straight off into 10 feet of water. And you can get 15 feet of water just right out there. So this is like a nice deep sod bank. All right, so my reel is binding up real bad right now. The moisture in the air has gotten inside the reel. And uh, something about these cheaper Shimano's is that they are gonna bind up whenever they get moist. So like right now with this fog, I mean, just to crank this, I don't know if you know what I mean. This reel is binding up to the point that I can't jig anymore. So I gotta go back to my car, get my other reel. I wish I could just keep fishing. All right, so I changed out my reel, got my sustain on here. I don't think I'll have the same problem with this sustain that I just had with the Sahara. Uh, we got slack tide, it's definitely slack now. And it's gonna be getting dark in about an hour. So I'm trying to capitalize here. I'm trying to get back in the water. Gotta trudge through the, the sticks back here because the tide is so high. This is all kind of, well, we're good, we're good. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's deep. Deep water would be wading through, like around this point. It's like a little deep. It's not so bad. Honestly, it was pretty decent. Oh yeah, <laughs> keeper number two. Definitely a keeper. Uh, before he starts going crazy, let's just try to see if we can measure him. Mm, also a little over 18. He hit the five inch swimming mullet. So we're two for two on keepers, no shorts today. It's a little unusual, but I'm not complaining. There he is, look at those teeth on him. Flounder have very sharp teeth. And there he is, yeah, he's gonna keep for sure. Let's see if I can't get a better measurement on him. Uh, yeah, just over 18, just barely over 18. Twin 18 inches, I'm gonna bleed him real quick. 
and then I'm going to get back in the water. be a keeper is the question. Oh, look at that. Weak fish. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. First weak fish of the year for me. It's not too big. Unfortunately, I hooked him through the eye. I'm just going to try to do this quick for him. Oh. All right, let's take a look at that fish. Okay, that's a, whoa. that's a weak fish. And it's not a tide runner, you know, it's not a big one, but it is a nice fish. There's not a whole lot of these around. And uh, this is a very healthy, healthy specimen. What I'm going to do is release it. It's probably 20, 22 inches. It's a nice, nice fish. There he goes. Oh, that was cool. I wasn't expecting a weak fish. That's a uh, good addition to a couple keeper flounder. I don't like eating weak fish. I've eaten them before. Their meat is oily and mushy. And, uh, too, too oily and too mushy for my taste. I'd much rather eat flounder. Plus weak fish populations are very low. Might as well throw it back. So that's not bad. Get the weak fish at dusk. And I'll take it. All right guys, I think that's about it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Got a couple keeper flounder. Uh, I was lucky that both flounder I caught were keepers. They're both a little over 18 inches. And then I uh, got that weak fish. It was uh, a nice surprise. You know, I wasn't expecting to get any weak fish back here. I kind of was actually. I was hoping for weak fish, but can never expect such a thing. Weakies are a, uh, a rare fish anymore. I got seaweed on here. But yeah, it's getting dark. So I think I'm about to head out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time.